Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Back to the Future of the Game, Episode 3. This story so far. Marty, after a troubling encounter with his ex-alternate girlfriend, has made his way into Hill Valley. Much to Marty's surprise, the town center actually looks nicer than he remembers. It didn't take long for Marty to bump into old friends. He quickly discovered the cause behind Jennifer's new rebellious nature. Marty's interaction with her grandfather, Danny Parker, in 1931, turned the Parkers into a lineage of cops. Jennifer's dad is Officer Parker, a constable of Hill Valley. Marty still hasn't found Citizen Brown, yet. And thus, we have a loudspeaker telling us things. Whew, 1984, all over again, huh? Well, that was only two years prior. No, oh, he's at the courthouse, right? So we will start looking at the courthouse. See if Officer Parker has anything new to say. Nope. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Okay, so what's this? Guard check. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, I'm just standing here. Loitering, huh? What is this? It's a demerit. No loitering. So get a move on, citizen. Automatic demerit dispenser. You gotta huh? be kidding. What is this? He doesn't look like he's kidding. Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? Final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. You put circus peanuts and bubble gum on that list, man. What's going on here? Since he's at the courthouse. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Indeed it does. Brown, huh? Biff. Biff? Hey, there he is. Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you. Huh. Is it Ministry of Tourism? Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Neither can I. Uh, we can't go much... There we go. The Comb Formist? The Comb Formist. Your stylists always have such clever names. Just like coffee shops. I wouldn't call that clever myself. An E. Brown Industries. A tour. E. Brown Industries, established in 1945, is the technological enterprise that makes Hill Valley what it is today. Whether it is electric cars running off the city power grid or motion-sensing fence deployment, the radical civil innovations under development at E. Brown Industries are changing the way cities operate. Efficient pedestrian travel Vigilant citizen monitoring and space age technologies that preserve the clean and modern appearance of the city. All these amazing advancements are not only making Hill Valley a wonder of the modern civilization, E. Brown Industries also exports its ideas and technology to cities around the world. One such city is Singapore soon to be recognized as our international sister city. Okay. Creepy. E. Brown Industries. That's hopeful. 
Did I miss one back here? Nope. No tour guides there, but what's this? The citizen reading. Capture free. Know thy ignorance. Look it up. Yeah, someone else has their fingerprints all over this, don't they? Citizen reading room. I guess there's one in every town. Okay. Staycations? Stemley's Staycations. What the heck is a staycation? I'm afraid to ask. All Citizens Bank, huh? All Citizens Bank. I don't like the overuse of the word citizen in this timeline. You and me both. That's as far as we can go there, huh? Okay, and... Hey, look, it's... Hey, there's Biff! What's up with him this time, Lana? Biff? Hey, you're... You're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? And he what? Does you don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running? Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Okay. What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Huh? Wow. They did a number on him. Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. I don't okay. see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. That was odd. Looked like he burped. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. Hmm. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. 
Okay. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Okay. Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? Hmm. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? What do you got to do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. Hmm. You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Well, maybe. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? Well, That's a good exactly. way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. Uh-huh. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. That's, that's... Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. That doesn't sound any better. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now what? I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. <sighs> sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah! You used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. Whoa. Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. What, All right, like babe. You when you're, angry? you're off the hook this time. I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, babe. You're off the hook this time. Okay, I think that's See you later, all Biff. we need to Bye, hear Martin. from Biff. And there goes Jennifer. We've some dude in What's that building. Now? Citizen Plus. Hmm. So, this is looking scarier and scarier as time moves on, huh? Well, I think we will follow Jennifer next time, because it's time to cut the video. So, until then, take care folks. See you later.